Hi guys, I'm playing War Robots and this is on my MSI uh, Raider GE67HX uh, gaming laptop. I don't know why there's no sound because I did uh, add my uh, Bluetooth speaker. So what I normally do is I come in here, just going to do a check so that's connected. Jump into this one and there you go. So that's why it wasn't making much sound. I'm gonna reduce this to about 60. I just I just prefer 60. I think 60 is a good amount. And once that's all done, then I just jump back to right. So I'll I'll just say something. In MSI after burner, I'm actually using 1950, but it does say 1957 for whatever reason. Uh, memory is 8000, voltage is 950 MV, uh, temperature it says 33 degrees Celsius. Um, then it says core temperature, is, uh, sorry, core voltage is minus 31. If I want to check if the overclocking is working, I come to GeForce Experience and here it does say the same thing. It says 1957 for some reason, but it's 1950. Uh, memory is 8001 uh, voltage it says 1 volt it does say 44 watts uh, 33 degrees Celsius and it says uh, utilization is between eight, uh, 6 and uh, well 4 uh, 3 between 3 and 8 uh, percent but obviously I haven't yet started playing games uh, my drive is up to date and I have told you guys about how to overclock this uh, your laptops I'm using extreme uh, performance. Uh, the core clock offset is uh, 200 megahertz. The VRAM clock offset is 200 megahertz. The fan uh, speed is set to cooler boost. Like I said, with my laptop, I'm able to. If I knew what I was doing, then I would um, mess around in here. But obviously, I don't know much about that, so I don't mess around with that uh, stuff. You know. Right, I'm um, using dedicated graphics. My graphics on my laptop are NVIDIA GeForce uh, RTX 3080 Ti graphics. Um, it's a laptop GPU. Right, it's got 16 gigs of VRAM. So all I'm doing in here, I'm not actually... I do want to play a game, but I'm, I'm more wanting to play War Robots Frontiers. But I mean, just for the sake of it, just for the video, I'll play a, vi I'll play a game. Um, I'm not saying that I don't play games. To be honest, I'm not playing War Robots as much as I used to. You know, I used to be highly uh, uh, addicted to this game. I kind of came off it. And the main reason for that is, you know, because of Wars on Mobile. And obviously Wars on Mobile was taking quite a bit of my time I'm, I'm not really interested in all this stuff so what we'll do is we'll just jump into a match uh, really quickly and um, if you're wondering about graphic settings for this game I have this set to a high uh, because as you know performance is the second uh, graphics option the last option is high graphics so that's like ultra for this game so obviously that's what I'm using Resolution for this one is uh, the resolution for my the resolution for my PC is actually set uh, to 1366 by 768. Right, I was just adding the the power thing. Sorry, just uh, trying to get the best angle. Right, so I'm gonna select a robot. I'm using a DualSense controller. So if you're wondering what controller am I using, uh, gamepad, I'm using the DualSense, which is a PlayStation 5 gamepad. So this is what I'm using, if you're wondering. Right, so let's get in there. So main reason why I kind of don't play this game much, um, it's because the game is, I don't know, it's its a bit outdated, isn't it? I mean, it's a bit old now. I mean, I don't mean outdated. I mean, they've done a lot of things. 
So that's a happy that's attacking me right now. And hopefully I might be able to cause damage to it. If it comes down. Right, uh, so the, they've done a lot of this game. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it's just that um, it's very time consuming. And um, yeah, I, I think I think that's the, the, the basic truth about this game. Like I said, it's I, I find it a bit old, you know, it's not it's not modern, you understand? Um I, I do prefer playing um I do prefer playing games like War Robot Frontiers as I feel that's the next um I mean that's that's the next uh phase of this game. Let's be honest. I feel like War Robot Frontiers is the next level to this game. I'm not saying it's bad, it's not a bad game to play. Uh, this is an angler. I think I've got three claws to this one. And the main weapon on this is the heavy weapon, which is the um, avalanche. It's a rocket launcher. And that one, I forget what this robot is called. I mean, War Robot Frontiers is the next level, you know? I mean, War Robots is good. I, I have this on my iPhone. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I just I just feel like I feel like it had its time, you know? It this game had its time. And it needs I don't know, they need to revamp this game. I, they need to do something. <laughs> they need to save it somehow. It just feels old. I mean look at the buildings. The buildings haven't been revamped. They they really need to kind of fix this game, I think. Yes, Titan Slayer, nice one. I mean, what I'm saying is, if you if you compare this to War Robots Frontiers, there's a huge difference. War Robots Frontiers to me feels fresh, feels new, it feels good. I know it's I know it's a different game. I get that. That's more like a third person type game. This is more first person type. You know, if if you if you're really considering the differences between. War Robots Frontiers and War Robots, but I feel like Who's this? Okay, this is my team member. I was wondering who that guy was Right, so what I'm saying is I feel like this game does Require an update like the buildings especially they need to change the buildings. The buildings look really old like like retro old, you know like like really old. I don't know what else to say. They, they need to change their buildings. They, they tried. I mean, they put water here. You know, they, they, they tried their best, but it's not good enough, I feel. If you play War Robots Frontiers, and then you play that one, and you come back to this one, you'll see a huge difference. And remember, this is the same developer that made the game. So the same people that made the game are the same developers that made War Robots. So War Robots Frontiers and War Robots is the same thing. It's the same uh, developers. So that's why I'm saying, when, when I'm playing that game, I do compare it to this one. I just compare the, the one, graphics, graphics wise, the game is good. This game is really good. But the issue that I've got the main issue that I have is that I feel like I feel like War Robots needs an update. You know, like the buildings. You see these buildings? They haven't changed these buildings. These buildings still feel old. You know? They, they changed everything else, but not the buildings. I don't know what to say. I mean, maybe more vegetation would be nice. You know, they, they, need, they, need, to, they need to change everything about this game. It's, it just feels old. When I play this, I feel like I'm playing in the past, you know? When I play War of Us and Tears, I feel like that's the future. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it, it, feels, it feels new. Oh my god, I hope I get this uh, Titan Slayer thing. Oh my god, did I fall down? <laughs> okay, I'm falling down. No, no. no. I don't want to get... No, man. I don't want to target you. I want to target this dude. Why is this guy getting involved? Why don't you attack something else? Oh, this guy is really trying to destroy me. 
Ah, damn, that's an Indra being taken down by a kid, Titan. That's, that's, him. that's something else. Anyway, uh, wow. I still want to get Titan Slayer. Let me get Titan Slayer, please. Let me destroy you. Let me send you back to Mars. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to, to kill this thing. Damn. Right, so I've got the new weapon on this. I don't know what the new weapon is. Uh, my drone is the one that fires the laser, obviously. And come on, come on, let, let me get this kill. This guy's trying to steal the kill. Come on, I want to get this Titan Slayer thing. No, 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 let, let me have it, let me have it. Yes, Titan Slayer, nice one. No, I mean, I deserve that because I was causing most of the damage. Well, my robot's dead now. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm controlling all of this using the DualSense controller. I'm not even touching the mouse, not even once. Even when it comes to selecting the robots and uh, the place, like this is Beacon Rush, so obviously uh, in Beacon Rush you, you select where you want your robot to drop off um, or deploy. I'm doing all this using the DualSense controller, so I'm not touching the mouse. What I'm talking about is these buildings, it's, they feel old man, these buildings feel very old. They need to change the buildings at least. I mean, I'm happy they did a remastered version of this. They they tried their best, but I feel like it's not good enough. They need to do a, a re, um, not a remastered, but they need to change the buildings, you know? At least change the buildings, make the buildings look nicer. Wow, this guy is trying to kill me. Why? The, oh, did we win? No. <laughs> they captured more beacons than us. Right, so this game is good. I didn't say anything bad about it. I still do use a mouse just uh, to make things snappier because I don't want to spend all day uh, selecting stuff. Uh, am I playing Call of Duty 3 uh, Modern Warfare? Not really on my laptop uh, because if I do, what happens is it takes, um, it takes away from um, the other one. I mean, I might, I might do that today. I may, I may play uh, Call of Duty today, obviously, because I'm making videos. But I'm just saying, if I log into it, it locks me out of um, Warzone Mobile. So that's why I was kind of not playing uh, COD for a while. Right. So like I said, I'm not gonna be playing this much. I just jumped into here because I'm making a video, and obviously, I told you I do play this on high graphics settings. Uh, I mean, it's a good game. I, I, I like it, obviously. I've spent a lot of money buying Titans. You see all these parts and stuff. I, I spent a lot of money on this game. But as a direct result of playing also on um, mobile and uh, War Robots Frontiers, I feel like I do prefer War Robots Frontiers. Right? These are the new uh, Titans. This is Eiffel. And uh, this uh, bed weir thing, I don't know. I've not seen this one much. I don't know what this one does. I know the other one can kind of uh, zoom in, zoom out type of thing. Uh, it rushes in, rushes out. Uh, I don't know what this one does. So it says uh, range is 400 meters, duration is 9 seconds, cooldown is 13 seconds. Barrier field places a shield wall absorber in front of himself. All damage absorbed into the shields is converted into additional titan durability duration nine seconds cooldown 10 seconds oh, okay okay I, I think i remember what this thing does it's got a shield in front of it but apart from the shield i don't know what else it does that's what i was saying i don't know much about it i just know that it's got some shield thing okay it says abilities jewel applies death mark and taunt effects to the enemy robot taunt disorientates and prevents you from aiming at anyone other than the one who applied the effect death mark increases the amount of damage received from any source okay all right i see what it's saying it's basically saying uh something about like uh well if if i understand what it's saying it puts a death mark on the robot that means that all the other robots on the field will see um an icon floating above that robot so it's like a teeth like so it's like a death mark so if everyone starts attacking a robot they'll start getting like uh double xp and uh double like more honor points so you start getting like more points for for destroying 
that one particular robot. Uh, as with taunting, it's saying something about uh, targeting that one individual robot, or uh, I think it's like uh, all the robots uh, around you with that shield won't be able to target you or robots near you. I think that's what they're saying. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not getting um, exactly what, what they're saying. Uh, this one, I know the nice thing about this, this has dash. It kind of whizzes. It goes back, forth. It's quite nice. I wish I had this one, but obviously you can't have all of them. Right, so I'm going to play. Um, I'm not really going to go into this one. Like I said, I was just coming in here just to check on, uh, you know, on things and make sure that I'm still up to date. Like I'm still building up robots in, um, in workshop and, uh, you know, just checking up on it. I'm making sure that this is still going on. Uh, I'm on level 31 in workshop. So I've surpassed uh, level 25. I mean, I still play this game. I still play it, but uh, I'm saying like, I don't play it as much as I used to. You understand? Uh, but the only reason for that is because of War Robots Frontiers, because that's received an update. And that one, I've made videos that looks really super cool. Uh, I do prefer playing War Robots Frontiers. Uh, next video I'll be playing Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare.